is Ashley Michelle here and welcome back to my YouTube channel where you can find beginner beauty tutorials and reviews and today we are doing a full glam makeup tutorial and I do have two parts to this tutorial today so this is going to be part one where we go into the eye look so without further ado let's just jump right into this video okay lovelies now before we actually get into this eyeshadow routine I am going to be doing some skincare and today I'm going to be using the Mary Kay Botanicals Effect skincare regimen you guys I have been loving the results that these products have been giving me and of course as always I will have everything linked down below in the description box so that way you guys can get your hands on these amazing products and simply today I'm just cleansing toning and moisturizing you definitely want to make sure that you have a routine skincare routine especially if you're wearing makeup because it's not just going to allow your skin to be healthier and just look flawless but it's also going to have your makeup lasting a whole lot longer and looking flawless as well because it's on a nice clean base. And you guys, I could not forget to moisturize my lips. Today I am using the Mary Kay Satin Lips Duo to moisturize my lips. And you guys, like it has literally been a game changer for me. Using a lip scrub and lip balm before I actually go in with my lip glosses or lipsticks. Again, it's just like prepping your skin for the foundation and the concealer when you do this step for your lips as well. And these are the products that I'm going to be using to sculpt out my eyebrows today. And if you guys want to see an updated eyebrow routine, definitely make sure you drop me a comment down below. Before we get things on and popping with this eyeshadow look, I'm going to be going in with my tape on the outer corners of my eyelids to get that nice crisp eyeshadow look. And for my base today, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Camo Concealer and I'm going to be using a flat eyeshadow brush to blend that concealer out over my eyelid and then go back in with a damp beauty sponge. And the reason why I'm using a damp beauty sponge is so that way I can make sure there are no creases in my eyeshadow base so that way when I apply the eyeshadow it is on a nice smooth canvas. And you all already know it's not an eyeshadow tutorial if I don't use my favorite 3503 First by Nature palette. So first I'm going to be taking a nice light brown taupey eyeshadow on a blending brush from Real Techniques. And I'm placing that eyeshadow in my crease area. And I'm simply just using small circular motions to build up that color intensity in my crease. And I'm taking a little bit of eyeshadow at a time and just dragging it to the inner corner of my eye. A little bit at a time but also making sure to blend as I go and blending you guys is the key to any eyeshadow look to make it look popping okay so just make sure that you're taking your time with your applying your eyeshadows and just keep going back in and look as you guys will see I'm gonna keep pausing just so that way I can make sure I'm getting the color payoff that I want Once I have the desired amount of color on my crease, I'm going to be using a clean fluffy eyeshadow blending brush to blend out any harsh edges. And you guys, it's okay to move and tug any area that you need to help get in those creases and crevices. And next I'm going to be taking a deeper brown, more like a chocolate shade, and I'm placing that 
more in the direct area of my crease right above my eyeball socket and I'm taking a small tapered blending eyeshadow brush to blend this color out and I'm going back in with that fluffy eyeshadow brush to blend both of those colors together so I'm concentrating the depth or the darkness of the eyeshadow look right in the center middle portion of my crease and then just keeping that nice transition color on the rest of the eyelid and now I'm taking a really really deep chocolate brown shade and I'm placing that on the outer corner of my eye I'm not going to drag this shade too far into the center of the eye just because we don't want my eye to look closed off or smaller so I just want to add a little bit of drama with this deep dark chocolate shade and I'm taking a really really small eyeshadow brush this is a flat eyeshadow brush from Real Techniques and I'm just placing that color directly on my outer corner and I am going to go back in with all the eyeshadow brushes that I use to basically blend all of these colors together so that way it looks literally like one smooth transition. Next, I'm taking this golden shimmery shade on another flat eyeshadow brush from Real Techniques. And this is a round tapered eyeshadow brush from them. And I'm going to be basically packing this gold shimmer shade or bronze shimmer shade on my eyelid. Kind of in the same format of doing a cut crease. This eyeshadow is actually going to be kind of like a base or a prep for the glitter that I'm going to apply later. And the reason why I'm applying the eyeshadow first instead of applying the glitter directly to the eyelid is because I'm not doing an actual cut crease today. And also so that way if any glitter falls out, there's going to be eyeshadow underneath that is the same color. So that is definitely a trick that you can do if you are new to eyeshadows and you don't really want to get into the cut crease but you want a nice glitter look definitely use a glitter eyeshadow that is the same color or a similar color to the glitter that you're going to apply and then go in with the glitter it's definitely going to just help that glitter just pop a lot more and this is a chunky glitter from the chunker glitter set from fairy tales cosmetics i will have that link down below and basically what I'm doing here is taking some clear eyelash glue. Definitely make sure that you use clear eyelash glue because if you use black eyelash glue, of course, it is going to dry black. So you don't want that black showing underneath your glitter. So again, I'm just taking the clear eyeshadow glue and I'm using a little bit at a time so that way I can control how much glitter is going on my eyelid. And I'm just building up that intensity with the glitter and the eyeshadow going back and forth so that way I can make sure I get my desired shape for this glitter cut crease but not really a cut crease look. And here I'm just taking that small eyeshadow brush that I used to apply that really dark chocolate shade to blend that into the golden shimmer shade that we applied last just so that way everything blends together flawlessly and as you guys can see I'm going back in with that eyeshadow brush as well and here's what the eyes are looking like and to line my eyes I'm going to be using the Mary Kay gel eyeliner and you guys look how black I mean just black that that aligner is and I'm also going to be using the Mary Kay ultimate mascara to prep my lashes now I did do a really small line of eyeliner just because I really wanted my glitter to pop and I'm wearing some big eyelashes today too so I really didn't need a super super thick line of eyeliner
And you guys, I really hope that you all enjoyed this method of applying eyeshadow because you really can get that cut crease look really without having to actually do all the work of a cut crease and I just really love how this whole entire look came out so definitely make sure you guys stay tuned for the second part of this video where I go into the details of the face And you all, these are the final results of this holiday glam makeup look. I really do hope that you guys enjoyed it. Do not forget to thumbs this video up, drop a comment below, and you guys already know what to do. Stay beautiful, stay blessed, stay safe, and stay popping. And I will catch y'all in my next video.